Bonjour, hi. My name is Jean Daniel. Even in one-on-one -on -one conversations, I often speak with the cadence of a newscast or a sermon. I need rest between the most minor of changes of activity or space. I track everything I own, everything I want to eventually buy, and all social events I hope to someday participate in on elaborate and color-coded spreadsheets. Every drawer or door in my house that is opaque is labeled, so I know what is behind it. I sleep between a stuffed animal moose as large as I am and a dog under a weighted blanket. I go to sleep with the same Spotify playlist every single night. I have a service dog to hear alarms and sirens I cannot hear when I am distracted and who pins me down during panic attacks. The last time I ever went to or will ever go to a Costco resulted in me in the fetal position on the floor crying because it was too loud. I was 39. Haircuts hurt. Fluorescent lighting and bright sunshine give me migraines. So does the fog. Nearly every social challenge I have ever had in any relationship from romance to family to professional has come from me believing exactly what somebody said and their insistence that I meant something other than what I said. I speak three languages now, but spent all of elementary school in speech therapy for my first language. I dropped out of high school and have three Ivy League degrees. I was a strange child whose room was full of antique books and stuffed animals. In my 40s, I'm strange for the same reason. I'm queer and I've never fit in with the other men and boys. Everything I enjoy in the slightest, I must learn everything about. I cannot touch wooden utensils or pencils or paper straws without getting goosebumps on my whole body, a toothache, and starting to shake. I need to figure out how I feel about a conversation for days after the conversation. My fashion is guided by finding what won't hurt. This doesn't always match people's ideas of professionalism or gender norms. I can't make small talk at parties, but I can walk into a hospital room and immediately talk to somebody about death. I wear glasses and hearing aids that are more about filtering light and sound than amplifying them. I seek out spoilers and shows and movies so they won't stress me out as much. I forget basic things like eating and going to bed without alarms reminding me. I've always been told that I'm a genius or an idiot, but never allowed to be just average. And yet there are people who will tell me that I don't look autistic. What do you think autism looks like?